Hey guys, uh, my name is Rami Ismail. I'm um, uh, I'm a little bit nasally right now, so you'll have to bear with me. Um, like Dr. Corey was saying in her video, I think I'm, you know, one of the, she said something crazy, like 50% of um, like the staff was either had COVID or taking care of somebody with COVID. So I'm definitely in that category. Hopefully what I have right now is not COVID, um, but I guess only time will tell. Um, yeah, like I was saying, so my name is Rami Ismail. Uh, for those of you I didn't go to class with last semester, um, it's an Egyptian name, I'm half Egyptian. Um, my name actually means archer, or, or um, it can also mean ambition. Um, which I guess is kind of like a derivative of um, like somebody who hits a target, right? An archer. Um, so it means one of those two things. And post a picture. As, as to the pictures um, I'm supposed to post, I don't know what I'm gonna choose yet. So I can't really speak to those. Um, where are you living now and where do you call it home? So right now I live in Queens. I live in Astoria, Queens, which um, I've lived here for, I lived here for like eight years now. So um, I really love it here. Um, I used to work in Manhattan, so it was really easy for me to kind of shoot in and out of the city. Um, and this is also like a good middle ground because I grew up, um, I grew up in Long Island, so I could, you know, I could easily shuttle back and forth that way too. Um, but at the end of this month, at the end of January, I'm moving back to Long Island, uh, way out east, which I don't really know how I feel about that yet. Um, I'm definitely gonna miss it here. Um, I think it'll be better for my wallet, but food is just not gonna be the same. The culture won't be the same. We'll see how it goes, make the best of it. Um, what personal and professional interest do you have in this course? Um, I guess they kind of have like a generic answer to this because I, I, I am just interested in this topic in general. I think, um, you know, it's not always apparent which um, stage you're in while you're in it. And you only kind of recognize that you know, certain thoughts, certain feelings are associated with, um, I guess, with a, 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 a stage in your, in your development when you are watching somebody else go through it. So like when you watch um, like a little kid discover everything, you can kind of remember um, what that magic was like. Or when you watch somebody who's in high school, um, and everything's dramatic. You can you can remember what that's like too, and you can you know kind of clearly witness that that's a stage in life. But you know I think having a bird's eye view, having that kind of perspective of the whole thing, will is just a good thing to have. Um, you know for looking back, but also for looking forward. Um, I also work in a psychiatric hospital, and um, they kind of group you know, people together based on their age. So there's a kid's unit, there's a college unit, a couple adult units, um, geriatric units, and I kind of bounce around between them. And so like, I kind of get like a little snapshot into what, you know, each of those populations is like. So one day I'll be working with kids, next day I'll be working geriatrics. And then you can, you can kind of, you know, when, when people are grouped that way, you can really see okay, like this group acts this way, this group acts this way, this group, acts. You, you kind of get a, you kind of get a better sense for um, the types of behaviors that are typical in each age group. And, um, and I see a lot of those reflected just in the, in the beginning readings that we're doing. So I think something personally I'm looking to gain is just a better understanding of what's going on um, in the hospital and uh, hopefully it'll help me do my job better. Um, something you hope to learn in this class. Um, I think that specifically, um, we don't, as like as a society, we don't spend enough time um, with 
older people. Like I know personally, I didn't spend a ton of time with my grandparents. They were either in care or, you know, they died when I was young. Um, so I think that there's a lot of perspective and wisdom um, that I missed out on. And I, I guess I'm, I'm just less familiar with people of that age range in general, um, which I don't think is uncommon, at least not in the people that I know. Uh, so I'm, I'm specifically looking to learn more about what happens in that, in those later stages of life. What's important to you in the online community? Um, I just want to make sure that I'm learning the material well. And I know that like, when you think of grad school, it's like, you know, you think of what material am I going to learn? But also a big part of that is, you know, the community that you, you know, become tight with. So um, I'm very happily surprised with the way that people have come together, even though it's an online uh, class and asynchronous for that matter. I think that um, I've been very pleasantly surprised by um, some of the friendships that I've made so far, and I hope that continues. Uh, a little over five minutes. Uh, sorry, guys. Take care.